Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a test video. What I wanted to find out is at what length should you cut trees and what the different values of different lengths are when it comes to trees. So I want to talk about kind of how we're going to test this. So we're going to do two different tests. So first off, um, what we're going to do is we're going to place down what we're going to use to sell the trees that we're going to cut down and stuff like that. Um, we are going to use, if we go to production, I believe selling points is gonna be where we're gonna find it. Yep, here we go. We're gonna use Yasa's mobile utility mods just because it's gonna make my life easier. So we're gonna place that down. Now the price, if we go into here, uh, if we go down to wood in here, there we go. Uh, you can see mobile wood sell point 1762. I'll document the price for it. Um, yes, I understand that the prices can vary and that will affect the price, but we're trying to look at this comparatively. So we're not really trying to get the best price. We're trying to look at the best cuts to get more money compared to other cuts. So as long as the price is the same for all, it should be fine. I'm gonna lower down a speed even more to help prevent it from uh, changing in terms of that. So that way it takes forever for that to change. And I'll document the price every so often um, in terms of what it's at. So we're gonna use that to sell. And the first test we're gonna run is gonna be using the easy development tool. So the easy development tools, you go in here, um, this is in meters, so that's one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, and so on, all the way up to um, I believe right here is 24 meters, I think if I'm not mistaken, maybe not 24, maybe it's 16, 20, I think maybe it's just 24. Oh, that one doesn't actually go as high as some of these other ones. So we're gonna, that's actually good to note there. Uh, if we go to Ponderosa Pine, that one's gonna go even higher there. So um, what we're gonna do up to a certain point, I think where it's like 24 meters is like right in this range right here. Um, but I'll, I'll keep track of that also. If I spawn this guy out here, it'll tell me, yeah, there's 23 meters. So we need to go one size bigger than that. Uh, but what we're gonna do is then we're gonna, we're gonna sell it. That one, we got $3,397 and we're gonna document that. We're gonna do that for every size. And we're only gonna do that for six types of trees because honestly, if you go in here, yes, we can do, uh, what's one that we wouldn't, uh, American Elm. You're not gonna do, you're not gonna do probably American Elm for forestry work, really. So I'm not gonna add that into the test because you're not gonna use that for forestry. We're talking about the six trees that are gonna be most common to forestry, which are the spruce, the pine, the stone pine, and those are all base game trees. And then now we're on the platinum expansion here. That's why we're on Silver Run Forest doing this test. The lodgepole pine, the ponderosa pine, and we're gonna throw the sequoia in there as well, just to kind of throw that out there. I know you don't make as much on the sequoia because, well, um, well, I mean, we could just take a look at that real quick if we wanted to, giant sequoia. Um, if we put the biggest one out there, giant sequoia there, um, yeah, we made 1876 on that huge piece of tree when the other one we made far more than that. So you're not gonna make a lot on the giant sequoias, but some people do do them for forestry. So if you're curious, I decided I'd throw that test in there. Now, then we're gonna go ahead and put the largest form of each of those trees. I'm gonna place them down. I'm gonna use um, the build menu because the build menu has all of these trees. If you go into landscaping trees and it has them all in their largest sizes. So if I go to, um, well, here's spruce for your old spruce. That's where you would be cutting it down for forestry. So if I place that down, that's the tree we'd use, so on and so forth. And then using the Rotney, and the reason I'm using the Rotney is because it has the widest um, capacity for, let's not go in there, go on the store here and take a look here. So it has the widest capacity for trees. So what I mean by that, 80 centimeters in diameter versus these guys are 71 and 64. And now the reason I'm using the Rotney as well is because it's a base game tree harvester. If you don't have the platinum expansion, it may not, this, you know, if you don't have the platinum expansion, you're not gonna have some of these things. So I want the base game experiment to work for everyone. Now, however, when we do get to the um, sequoias, we're gonna have to use the Hannibal. So we're gonna have to kind of adjust the test for that because this is the only thing that's big enough to actually cut down the sequoias. Otherwise, um, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. If I'm wrong, let me know, but we'll use that for the sequoias, but we are gonna use the Rotney for everything else because it has the, it's the biggest base game tree harvester is kind of what we're looking at. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick chart up on your screen here. All right, so on this chart here, you can see we have the base game trees at the top and then we have the platinum trees at the very bottom. So uh, what we're gonna do, and I know a lot of people have done forestry tests out there. There's a lot of people have done this. I know uh, people said that Driver53 did a good one. I haven't watched any other ones because I didn't want them to change anything about how I was gonna do my test because I wanted to make sure I did it the way that I wanna do it. And I don't wanna be influenced by how other people did it or their results. I just wanna get my results doing it the way that I felt the test should be done. So that's. That's what I have to say about that. So I know other people have done these tests. I'm not trying to upstage them or anything like that. It's not my goal. Um, I'm sure that they, they're going to do it differently than I did. So um, hopefully if we all bring something to the table, everyone's going to learn something from every video. But regardless, as you see on here, we have a couple of charts. So on each one, it's going to have the uh, tree. And then on the left-hand side, the left column is going to have how many meters were, uh, how many meter worth of length um, that we're going to spawn in using easy dev tools. Um, and then 
sale price. That's how much it's gonna, we're gonna make from selling that chunk of tree. And then on the very right hand side, that's divided by how many meters. So uh, for example, the one meter one, the sale price and the per meter price are gonna be the same. And then if we go to the two meter one, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be different. So um, the uh, two meter uh, one is gonna be, the per meter price is gonna be the, the total sale price divided by two. And then for the three meter one divided by three and so on and so forth. And we'll do that for all six trees, the platinum expansion ones. And then at the very bottom, I'll put what the sale price was. So um, there we go. Um, and then as we're, as we're in here, that's what we're going to do in terms of that. So, and again, I'll document the sale price and everything like that. But I'm going to run the test and then I'll bring you guys back in. Um, I'll bring you guys back in when we do our first harvester test over here with the spruce. Um, and what we are going to do is I'm going to place all of these trees out here. And then we're going to run the test for each length for all six of those trees. And then we're going to load the game back in as if nothing changed. And we're using the same trees for every test that we there's nothing you can say that's different about it. So and I know there's some different variables in here, but um, then this won't be the most exact test, but I think this will give us a really good idea of where to go from here in terms of tree testing. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and run the easy dev test and I'll bring you back in with those results. And then we'll talk about the harvester test. All right, so I wanted to bring up a couple of things here. So um, I did finish the initial test. And by the way, this spreadsheet, I'm going to allow you guys to have a view copy of it or a downloadable copy, hopefully in the description. So hopefully that's all gonna be in there as long as I remember and I put it down there. If it's not in there, just leave a comment and I'll I'll put it in the description if I can. Um, but okay, let's take a look at the results here. This is using the easy dev tools. So spruce, I went all the way up to 24. Um, the worst length to sell them at was 24 meters. So for one 24 meter length, it sold for $1,000 and got you $44 per um, meter. Six meters was the best at 1217 for the six meter uh, chunk with 202.83 per meter. Um, Per liter, or per meter, not liter, good Lord. Um, now, to be fair, seven and eight are pretty comparable. So those ones aren't bad either. Same with five, five is comparable, but outside of that, you probably don't wanna do anything different. Pine, now this is the other thing I found interesting as well. As you can see here, um, the meter prices change per tree. So like the best meter price for spruce is 202. The best one for lodgepole pine is 269, 377 for Ponderosa, 466 actually for Sequoia, which I was kind of surprised by because I thought there was a penalty for harvesting it and that penalty was you don't get a lot of money for it, but maybe they changed that because the Sequoia is actually pretty profitable now based on this. Uh, but if we look here, see so yeah, again, move over to pine. Again, they didn't have 20, 21 through 24 weren't spawnable items. Same, that's what all these gray areas are for as those were not spawnable um, items using easy dev tools at least. Um, so yeah, all the way up to 20, always the worst one, almost always is the is the top one. So $20 per meter. You can see how much less this is worth, pines are worth compared to spruce uh, per meter, um, which is really interesting to me. So don't do pine if you can avoid it. Um, I mean, obviously, if they're there on your farm, you can deal with them or they're on your land, you can deal with them, but don't plant more pine, I guess is what I'm saying. Stone pine was fine. Stone pine actually did really good. Uh, 21917 at six. Um, this one was unique in terms of four meter lengths is seemed to be best for this. But again, five and six, even seven are comparable there and even three are comparable there as well so just something to note in terms of that now if we move down here um six meters again is the best six meters again is the best then the sequoia was actually seven technically was the best but six meters is extremely comparable only three dollars away from that uh per meter and sequoia was unique in the fact that um the smallest size was the lowest now i did note this at 1.4 meters and these are equations so they all just do the math for me um the reason i put that way when it spawned in the one meter length it spawned in a 1.4 meter length every time so that was just what it was set to do an easy dev so i decided to change that because obviously that made more sense so i don't have a one meter length to test but i had a 1.4 meter length to test then again biggest ones for these guys are the, are the, are the worst and then six meter lengths and seven again for sequoia so now we're going to do that same thing but now we're going to use a tree harvester so i'm going to go ahead and run that test and i'll bring you guys back in again all right the tree harvester test is completed which is awesome um, and I also answered a kind of an additional question as well, um, which I'll go into that in a second. So what I did is I get in each one of these. I didn't touch them at all. So I would get in here, turn it on. I would hit O, hold down O, because it automatically sets it up. So it would automatically go to the same spot every time I would cut it. Then I would cut it, and then I would adjust the cut for every, every one going through, doing all the different tests. And that's what I did for all of them. Now, a couple issues. First off, this guy right here, the stone pine, It won't, uh, it does not, tree type is not suitable. So that one I couldn't do. And the Sequoia, I unfolded this guy. This guy is not large, this thing is too big. So it can't be done with the tree harvester, I guess. I could have swore it was doable with the tree harvester, but I guess I was wrong about that. But regardless, I did all of them except for those two. 
um, there. So I'm going to put this, the chart up on the screen and then we'll talk about a couple of things there. All right, so taking a look at everything on here, um, again, I could not do the stone pine test and I could not do the sequoia test. So I was able to do the other four though, no big deal. Um, so going through here, a couple interesting results. Now this is again, me selling the whole tree, um, but doing it in these different cut lengths on the left-hand side. And then this is the total I got for selling all those cut lengths. This is how many cuts there were. So basically there's 13 chunks of wood here, 11 chunks here, and all the way down to max obviously, which is just gonna be one chunk of wood. So basically every time it was the worst if you just sold the tree as a whole chunk of tree. That was just the worst and by far like a lot. It was really bad to sell the whole tree by itself. So going through here, um, I have highlighted in green is the best price for each one. So uh, it's doing six meter cuts and uh, giving you six cuts that gave you the most for um, the spruce. For the pine, same thing, six meter cuts. Um, and again, the trees are worth different amounts of money. Now down here is kind of interesting. It wasn't six meter cuts or even eight meter cuts here. It was nine meter cuts, four nine meter cuts and four nine meter cuts. That was the best way to go about it. Now I do have a blue highlighted chunk up here. And the reason for that is that's actually what I would recommend you cut them out. Because if you look at it, we're only losing about $150, not even quite that much to go down or to jump up to eight meter cuts. And the reason I think it's worth it to sell the tree at this level instead of at the six meter cuts is because you only have four chunks of tree to deal with as opposed to six. So it should be a little bit easier to deal with transport process, all of that. Same thing over here, you're only losing, you know, 150 bucks. This one's a little bit more, maybe 200 bucks or so. Um, this one, so this one you may not want to do, but kind of up to you. Uh, but I think it's worth it just to only have four chunks of tree to have to deal with as opposed to six chunks of tree. Now down here, these ones I recommend doing the nine meter lengths because that's only four chunks of tree and that's the best price. Um, however, it should be noted that if you wanted to do eight meter lengths, this one is not too bad. Now that fifth chunk of wood is not even close to eight meters. It's just a little piece on the end. So um, you really only have four, four chunks to deal with. And then here, you only have four chunks to deal with there. So if you wanted to do all eight meter cuts, I think across the board, you could do that pretty easy. Now, the final kind of extra added test I did before we wrap up this video is at the very bottom. So I did max tree and then I did the max tree not limbed. So I cut it at the same level at the harvesters did and then I sold it just as is without any of the tree limbs removed. And it cut your price down significantly, like about in half. So make sure if you're selling trees, they are delimbed because you're losing about half of your money if you do not delimb the tree, which I thought was really interesting. And down here, the, the sales price for all of these during all these tests was $17.72, which compared to over here was uh, $17.62. So it was slightly higher, just a touch higher. Uh, so just something to note there, but it was consistent through um, everything I did in all these tests. And again, this these charts will be available to you. You won't be able to edit them or anything like that. They'll be view only copies because obviously they're directly from my drive, uh, but it should give you all the data that you want or that you're looking for, at least from this test. So I will have a link to that down below in the description. But regardless of that, that is my tree test. So we did took some look or took a look at some of these things and hopefully this video is helpful for you guys that do forestry or maybe trying to get into forestry. So now you know exactly when you wanna sell your trees or how to harvest them to sell them correctly and everything like that and what trees are worth more. So honestly, if you're gonna do trees, only do the lodgepole. And honestly, you should only do this one right here. You should only do ponderosa pine if you're gonna do it. Uh, but these ones aren't bad either, lodgepole pine. Obviously, if you buy a chunk of land and you're doing forestry, you just kind of get what you get. But maybe when you're looking at the land, see if there's more of those two types of trees in there than uh, those two over there, because those two are about half as valuable as these two here. And when you go plant them, if we, if we go in the store here, if we go to pallets, um, if we go over to tree saplings here. So there's not a big difference in any of these through here in terms of, and I don't know if all of them, I don't think all of them are in here, but all these through here, $1,000 for 20. Um, honestly, the cheap way to do it is using the platinum expansion one here. So spruce, $5,000. That one's not even really a good one to do anyways. Cause like if we look over at, let me pull up the, the chart again for me, just uh, for my my reference here. Uh, the ones we're looking at is lodgepole pine um, and ponderosa pine. Those are the good ones to do. Uh, so spruce is 12 grand, pine 10 grand. So a little cheaper for pine, but pine's not worth as much. So it's worth the extra two grand if you're gonna do spruce. But if we go to, um, let's get to the, the good ones here, if you will. Uh, we have the lodgepole pine, 12 grand. It's the same as the spruce. And the ponderosa pine, also 12 grand. So do ponderosa pine and um, the, oh gosh, and the lodgepole pine. It's worth it to get this set up to do this. Um, you're gonna make a boatload of money off of those. I don't even know comparatively how long they take to grow. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can wait the extra couple of days. It's not gonna be a big deal. If you have only a certain amount of time to make money, that might matter more, but just in general, the, in terms of labor and everything like that, you might as well just wait extra if they take longer. I don't know if they take longer or not, but that's just another note 
uh, to be had. But yes, do these two trees. They're worth it. If you're on the Platinum Expansion, do those two. Otherwise, just do spruce trees because uh, the pine trees are garbage, the base game ones in terms of their value. So just do spruce. But regardless of that, guys, hopefully this test was helpful. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.